Hello, my name is Michael with RodHub, and I want to give you a preview and show screenshots from our latest workbook edition focused on Cisco Layer 2 VPNs. So Layer 2 VPNs, or L2 VPN, allows engineers to extend Layer 2 Ethernet services, such as VLANs, across a Layer 3 network that is using MPLS. From a client perspective, the ISP supporting the Layer 2 VPN is really seen as a big virtual switch that we're plugging things in, being part of the same broadcast domain as shown here in this picture from Cisco's website. The Layer 2 VPN tunnels could be either a point-to-point -point or a point-to multi-point Ethernet connection, depending on the Layer 2 VPN technology. Using Layer 2 VPNs, we can extend VLANs that may be dedicated for servers, desktops, even guest networks to provide better control and network virtualization. Some of the Layer 2 VPN technologies that can be used are L2TP version 3, Ethernet over MPLS, and VPLS. Let's show some of the Layer 2 VPN solutions that will be designed and deployed within our workbook. So in this network diagram from our workbook, we will configure L2TP version 3 over an MPLS network. This creates a layer 2 tunnel that is basically a virtual connection between our two sites that is seen here in the diagram. And is basically seen as if they are directly connected together. You will see that this L2TP version 3 tunnel is established only between the two PE routers in the MPLS infrastructure. In terms of addressing, the CE sites are part of the same broadcast domain or subnet. We will show you the configuration for this design step by step. Here's another layer 2 VPN solution focused in our workbook using Ethernet over MPLS. So Ethernet over MPLS is probably one of my favorites because of the hardware support over VPLS. For example, VPLS requires to be configured on a Cisco 7600 series router. Ethernet over MPLS allows us to build a point-to-point -point Ethernet tunnel between two sites for extending VLANs, not point-to multipoint. We'll get to that later. In this design, we will have a hub and spoke network with basically one spoke. Our hub site will consist of a Cisco Catalyst 3750 layer 3 switch configured for three VLANs. One will be for the internal VLAN, one will be the guest VLAN, and the other will be our management VLAN for management purposes. These VLANs will be routed at the hub sites, but will also be extended across our WAN or IP WAN to the remote site. Our remote site will consist of a Cisco Catalyst 2960 switch or layer two switch configured to support the three VLANs. We will have two computers at the remote site connected to each network seen in the diagram. In this diagram, or in this design, if our guest network wants to communicate with the internal user computer, it needs to be routed across the Layer 2 VPN network through the guest VLAN and then back across the Layer 2 VPN network but through the internal VLAN. We will show you the configuration, monitoring, and even trace route information for this design step by step. In this Layer 2 VPN solution, we will use VPLS, which allows support for point to multipoint Ethernet services compared to Ethernet over MPLS or L2TP version 3 technologies. Here we have two remote sites this time, and our three VLANs are extended to our two remote sites with connected computers in their respective VLANs, similar to our Ethernet over MPLS solution. We will show you the configuration for this design step by step. We will show you another VPLS solution configured for a feature called QNQ. This basically allows all VLANs for a client to be sent through a QNQ tunnel, so to speak, to allow better scalability and to allow our clients to use their own VLAN tags within their network compared to the VLAN-based solution where each VLAN must be defined and unique on the PE routers. Again, we will show you the configuration for this design step-by-step. So in our workbook, we will discuss and describe the necessary design details for each Layer 2 VPN solution, including understanding the requirements involved as shown in this particular screenshot for Ethernet over MPLS used for a hub and spoke WAN infrastructure. We provide step-by-step -step configuration for all solutions shown within this workbook. Here is a screenshot 
from the workbook showing one of the configuration steps for implementing L2TP version 3 on one of the PE routers. We also show you the configuration steps needed on the CE side to give you the big picture involved. In this screenshot, we will show you the configuration where we have enabled EIGRP routing to be used between our two sites for the L2TP version 3 design infrastructure solution. In this screenshot, we will show you the MPLS configuration as part of our Ethernet over MPLS and BPLS designs for reference. And detailed step-by-step -step configuration for Ethernet over MPLS and VPLS as shown in this particular screenshot. It's important to monitor and to understand the operations of L2 VPNs that is working. In this screenshot, this is one of the commands we will use to verify that layer 2 VPN operations are working. And we provide full working configuration to reference for the L2TP version 3 and Ethernet over MPLS deployments within this workbook. This workbook is part of our training program to provide practical Cisco training for network engineers and consultants for understanding how to deploy and support a practical layer 2 VPN solution in a real world environment. Our training program is focused on providing practical training based on the concepts, design and recommendations or requirements for a network solution, configuration, Present in a step-by-step -step format, configuration summary, and full working configuration files, and to monitor to verify the operations and traffic flow of the, de of the deployed design. This is what we call CDCM for Concepts, Design, Configuration, and Monitor. This workbook can be purchased as an individual package or included as part of the master collection. Below shows these differences for each. Basically, our master collection is our subscription service and is our best offering to network engineers and consultants. You'll get access to all packages in our collection. You'll get access to all new updates and additions for a complete year. And we constantly add new features and services each month to our collection. We also provide many promotional codes for additional discounts for our packages for purchase. And renewing the master collection, users will get over 60% off the price. You can get more details at routehub.net slash master underscore collection. We thank you for watching our video. You can get more details on this practical Cisco training workbook at routehub.net slash L2VPN.